Hi everyone, welcome back to Buster Rhyme. This is Tuplex. Today we're going to work on uh, chilling down this steam vent. Um, and I'd also like to do something for natural gas storage. I had a, a good suggestion in the comments from the last video to create a room that fills it with a high pressure vent which can pack it in up to 20 kilograms. And inside the same room, you can load it with reservoirs, and that'll give you about another 10 kilograms per tile. Um, so with that, we can build a reasonable sized room to store a lot of natural gas, maybe all the natural gas that comes out of that geyser. So we'll give that a shot. Um, I'd like to start working towards these um, towards the colony achievements. Home sweet home would be the first one. Um, so we'll start to build a monument soon, since I've got the ability to make all the materials now. Um, but one thing I need to do is I need to get up to 12 duplicates. And we've only got 8. We've been running on 8 for quite a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another bedroom up here. Four more dupes. Um, I already have the space in the great hall, um, and with four bathrooms we'll be able to handle that with no problem. We just have to make sure that they're on a different shift than the rest of the dupes, so that they're not all trying to use it at the same time. Um, but yeah, I think we can get to four dupes pretty easily. Um, yeah, so let's work on on chilling this down. Now the good thing is that it's dormant, so we got some time to work on it without it actually erupting. The bad thing is that um, that also means that we're not going to be able to see it work <laughs> for a while, but we'll at least we'll at least get it set up. Um, I did install the mod that allows me to deconstruct this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and get that started. I will leave that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of this thimble weed, unfortunately. Uh, these are not growing. That's one of the few thimble reeds that's actually growing. Um, we can always plant some and grow some more. Um, I got a little bit of gas damage here. It looks like I had some... I think I had some hydrogen uh, sneak in to my, to my lines. Overloading. Yeah, I've got too much stuff on this power line. I should only be running the sieve and... and this pump. So I'm gonna cut... I'm gonna cut the power to this area from that circuit. This bomb should have enough power to not only power itself, but also to power a sieve and a liquid pump. Uh, but I've got I've got three pumps all in that same power line, so that could be part of my issue. Okay, so uh, one of the things I want to do is get rid of the CO2 that's in here, so that we have so that the only gas that we have in there will be steam. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to want to build a... Actually, let's just do this. Never mind that. Let's speed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an airlock right there. And um, I've been in another game that I've been messing around in. I found that you can you can build an airlock even if you don't have visco gel. You can build a one tile airlock if you use two dissimilar liquids. 
Um, for example, I should be able to make an airlock here if I put, um, if I drop some polluted water first. And then drop some clean water on top of it, for example. So let's try that. Of course, it's going to spill all over the place. Okay, and now I'll ask for some water. There. Okay, and then turn that off. And now I have a liquid lock. And I should be able to open this, and these fluids should stay in between those two tiles. And then what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll put in a couple of pumps. Oh, another, by the way, another mod I put in was one that shows building ranges. So for example, you can see, you can see the range on this pump. So I'm just going to put, I'll put four of those in there. out of here so that we'll end up with nothing but steam okay uh, this circuit is on the main power grid so I think I will tap into this one out into a high pressure vent. Okay, so you can see the those lockers got removed. Now they were made of neutronium, so they didn't they disappeared but didn't actually drop anything. Now this light is made from steel, so when we deconstruct that we'll get a little bit of steel out of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna want to do here is I need to make a little I'm going to make a little cutout here, and actually it would be better if it's close to the top, so it's close to where the steam comes out. And I'm going to replace a couple of these tiles with, with diamond window tile, because it has a very high thermal conductivity. Um, now another, another way to do it would be with steel plate, but let's look at the difference here, actually. So steel plate has thermal conductivity of 54. And the window tile has a conductivity of 80. And the window tile only takes diamond, which we which is fairly easy to get. Okay, so I'm gonna put that. Where should I put it? Yeah, I think I'll just have, I'll have to put it right here. And then on the inside, I'll put a few temp shift plates that are connected to that. And this will be the means by which we um, pull heat out of there. All right, so let's, I can delete those two ladder sections. And I will put in temp shift plate and we can make those out of diamond as well. And I'll just put three of them there. And hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. Uh, 
Um, another mod that I installed is one called Gas Overlay, which replaces the standard oxygen overlay. Um, but it shows you not only the gas, but it varies it varies the intensity of the color based on the pressure. Um, so, for example, let's find a low pressure area. Well, like for example here, you can see that the oxygen pressure is higher than it is here because it's a darker shade of blue. There's more saturation, right? 1600 here, 2500 there natural gas. So this is, uh, I think, a useful improvement to the overlay. Okay, well this will take a little time to, to get emptied out. Alright, so I got my temp shift plates. Um, I wonder if I can close this up now, actually. Well, you know what, I'd, once I get a vacuum I'd like to remove the pumps, so I'm going to wait to close that up until until this is done. Okay. Um, so eventually I'm going to need this space above it where I have my water seal, but um, I'll wait until I'll wait until I get a vacuum in here and I can clear those pumps out. Um, I think using four mini pumps uh, works a little bit better than using a couple large pumps. Uh, for one thing, they take less power. Like four of these mini pumps takes the same amount of power as one regular gas pump, but they cover they cover more area. So I think for, you know, for creating a vacuum room, I think it's I think it's better to use multiple mini gas pumps rather than the regular ones. Okay, and then on this side of these tiles, I'm going to put a steel door. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want it powered by this circuit, however. Anyway, we'll put a steel door here, and then we'll use the automation based on the temperature. Um, we'll use our automation to open and close this door. When the door is closed, it'll pull heat away from here into the chiller. And when the door is open, there'll be a vacuum and no heat transfer will occur. So that's how we control the temperature uh, inside here. All right, and I'm freewheeling this right now. I'm trying to do this without copying anybody's design as I have in the past. So if I get something wrong, please forgive me. Um, what are we doing here? Okay. Yeah, it's getting pretty close to being all sucked out. I'm just trying to think uh, where I should put the temperature sensor for the door. I suppose it needs to be in here, right? So I'll put a thermo sensor right there. No, I don't think I want it right there. I think I'll put it right here. And then what we'll do is when the temperature here gets above, say, 95 degrees, then we close the door. That'll take some heat out and keep it just cool enough so that when the steam comes out of the vent, it just immediately flashes into water. Okay, we're getting pretty close to having a vacuum here. So again, by the... Uh, with this overlay, you can see it's a very light shade of gray versus this darker gray outside because the because the density is getting so low. And we're done. Okay. 
Okay, so now I can delete all of that. We can delete that. We can delete the wires. And the pumps themselves. And then I'll sweep everything out of there. And then we can close it up again. Let me put in a couple more temp shift plates. There. That way we'll get we'll get it right up to the area where the steam is coming out. Another thing I did, um, <laughs> just temporarily, I guess, um, I buried my water vent so it would stop <laughs> putting out water because between the generators and this thing, uh, the water level was getting very high, and I don't want it. I don't want this area to to get totally full. Um, I think what I can do is I can use a hydro sensor. I'll put some steel, I'll put some uh, mechanized airlocks here and then I can, I can automate these doors opening and closing so that I can flood the vent and stop any more water from coming out if I don't want it. Okay, so I think this is all set. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that door and then we can remove the lock. Hopefully the polluted water will come out this way rather than go inside when that door closes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, and then we can get rid of the pump and we can mop that up. Alright, and then we can get rid of those two tiles. And we can start to build the chiller. Okay, so let's plan this out. How are we going to do it here? Alright, so I'm going to need window tiles on the other side of this door. And then let's build a ladder down so we still have access to get in if we need to. And then we're going to encase this in insulated tile. And then we're just going to use an aqua tuner and, um, and a steam engine. Let's make some room over here. There, I should be able to get some steel from that light. Let's see if we have a dupe that is worth bringing on board. Tryptophobia. I'm not terribly crazy about. Before we decide, let's figure out what what rolls we need. Okay, I've got two diggers. Diggers and builders. I have one builder. I've got a cook slash supply person. I've got a rancher. It might be good to have another rancher. 
In fact, I f I'm sure it would be good to have another rancher. So I think that's what we'll do for our next dupe. I think it'd be good to have another rancher and another and another supply person. He's got increased athletics. This guy might be good as, as a gopher. Yeah, because I've only got one gopher right now. All right, so let's take this guy. Uh, and what are we going to name him? Let's see. Let's name him... Ice tea. Right. Welcome aboard, Ice. All right, so we'll give him we'll give him the same priorities as Cardi has. Oh, actually, Cardi is our other rancher. Um. We'll give double supply, plus one to storing, plus one to tidying. Negative on building and digging. Yeah. Like that. Skills. We'll go with improved carrying first. Give him a hat. And now we've got, now we've got nine dupes. Got plenty of food. Look at that. We have over 200,000 calories of barbecue, so I don't think we'll have any trouble supporting him. Once I get up to 12, I'll recalculate our ranch setup, and we might need to add additional ranches. But for now, I think we're good. Actually, we don't need to dig up that mushroom. See if we get some steel out of that. Yeah, nice. 50 kilograms. Okay, so over here, like I said, I need. I need some cold water, so what I'm going to do is set up a little chamber here to hold some polluted water, and this is what we'll chill with our aqua tuna. So we'll need some radiant pipe in there. Uh, let's make it out of aluminum. a small loop and we will want a thermal sensor on that that's in plumbing actually and we'll fill that with polluted water
Actually... Couldn't I just run my cooling pipe through the window tile? Why bother with polluted water? What's the heat capacity on window tile? Uh, yeah. Well, the heat capacity is not very good. So yeah, I think I will use... I'll use polluted water as a medium. We'll use polluted water because we can get it. We can get it pretty cold before it freezes. Um, we can go down to minus 20, so I'll probably just keep it at like minus 10, just to keep a margin of safety there. Tuner, let's see, where do I want it? Go right there. Uh, let's see. So we'll switch to insulated pipe. there and then into the bridge let's see so we can bypass So it'll go in. If we don't need any cooling, it'll go through. If we do need cooling, it'll go into the aqua tuner. wire goes from this sensor to the aqua tuner. I think I might just put the steam engine directly over top of this, even though that might block a couple of vents. I don't think that'll be a problem, really. Let's wait till the ladder gets deleted and then I'll build out the rest of this. Okay, that'll go there. 
And then we'll need additional liquid pumps. So this one we're gonna send we're gonna send green if if above ninety five. No, if below ninety five. Because green, green opens it. So if it's below 95, we want the door to remain open. If it goes above 95, we close the door. Okay, and there should be a vacuum in there. It doesn't say, but it also doesn't say there's anything else, so we should be good there. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the size of a. Thing in the jig. <laughs> Steam turbine. And I build some ladder going down in there. Probably should have built the floor first. Okay, there we go. And now we'll switch it over to regular water. And then we'll get all the gases out of there. picking up such dinky quantities of water. Um, is MCA allowed to come out yet? Now he is. Okay. Ice tea is not allowed yet, though. I'm going to get more water. I mean, even though the gases are out, um, there's not very much water in there, and I want to make sure I have enough to <clears throat> actually to cool it down. This is taking an awful long time to fill up, isn't it? Let's just raise the priority on these. What achievement did I get? Ah, transit tube. Did I show you guys my transit tube? I don't remember if I did. Um, I put a transit tube here because I was digging up to space. I haven't showed you this. I've been draining out the subsurface ocean to get to space. <laughs> right, so I dug out this big area. This used to be kind of like the starting biome. Um, and then I came up here. This was full of water. All the water drained down into there. You can see I walled off the sections where I had previously dug through. Um, I emptied this area up here. And then I was able to continue to tunnel straight up. Um, and since it's pretty far away, I put in a transit tube. Um, and now we can actually see space. Okay, so we're ready to get up there. Uh, we'll just have to drain this one as well, but, you know, we can just 
let it fall straight down here and add it to this huge reservoir. And then we can get up into space. I can already see some shovels digging around there. That'll be our future food source. So, sorry I didn't mention that. Okay, how much have I got here? 280. Yeah. We'll empty a few more bottles in there before I seal it up. Yeah, what the heck? Why is it picking up such tiny quantities of water? I don't get that. Maybe I need to do that. Oh, yeah. It's because it's only going down one tile, so it, it barely has access to anything. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm going to shut these off now. Um, can I seal this up? No, I need power. So let's put some conductive wire. And I need to fill the loop. That's important. Okay, what are we doing here? I'll take some more. I'll take I'll take some more water here. Let's get rid of that bit of ladder. Hopefully I'll be able to sweep it out. Okay, and I can fill the loop from down there. So I'll go ahead and seal this up now. And then we'll get rid of all this. for the steam engine. Let's put that at the bottom. That way the vent ought not to get blocked. And I'll just use granite pipe. That way it'll it'll cool itself. Since I don't expect this to be creating tons and tons of heat. <clears throat> okay, I think that's enough water. Let's seal that up. Steam engine. We'll make it out of lead. It can go right there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so the the idea here is that the ninety five degree water coming out will prevent the steam engine from overheating. do that little section with radiant pipe as well. Okay, and then we can enclose this. So 
Let's save those two tiles for last. to the power grid. So I need to get a line of conductive wire over here. From where shall I take it? I think I can put a transformer over here. wire bridges. You have to do it in the middle. gets deconstructed, I can connect the conductive wire there. Okay, well, let's hope this works. <laughs> this is um, pretty similar to another design I've seen. But... Um, I built it without referring to any of that, so hopefully I've remembered to do it correctly. Now once it starts up, we'll at least... Oh, let's decide what temperature we want here. Uh, we want to turn on the aqua tuner if it's above... Let's see, if it freezes at minus 20, then we don't... And we're going to get a 14 degree temperature difference. So let's do... Let's do, well, we'll do minus five. I think I, oh, okay, well, that's good. All right, let's get this powered up. building our monument. And it takes a lot of materials. The base takes seven and a half tons of steel and 2,500 kilograms of obsidian. Okay, I got the obsidian. I just don't have the steel. Okay, is this ready? Oh, yeah. We forgot the coolant. It would be good to do that, wouldn't it? Okay. So, I'm going to put a couple tiles there. 
Oh, no, I can use this pump. Why isn't that pump pumping? I disconnected it. Which in this case is good, because I don't want it going through the middle there, do I? Okay. Whoops. I'm gonna have to break in here so I can delete this pipe. I don't want that in there. But I can use this. Fill up my cooling loop. Whoops. And they can't get over there. There. Now we can. Oh, and we have another dupe. Let's see. Anemic is a no. Biohazardous I can deal with. Suit wearing would be a good one, uh, but she's a mouth breather. But I said I wanted a rancher, right? I'm gonna hold off till we get another rancher. I'll take the sand though. And I also need to I, I also need to formulate a strategy. Like once I get beyond about eight dupes, I I don't have a clear vision on how I should adjust their specialties. Um like I think it would be good to have it would probably be good to have one or two dedicated pilots. You know, another rancher, like I said. Um uh, maybe I don't know, what else? There we go, good. So we'll seal that back up, and then... And then I'll cycle that door, and that should delete any gas that got let in there. Okay, so I'll just go... Above... Back to below, and... Should be a vacuum there. Okay, I don't actually need those now. I do need to turn this pump on. Okay, I'm gonna start chilling this water. Hopefully the water in the pipe doesn't freeze. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is measuring the temperature of the water in the pipe, not the temperature of the water in the... in the cooling chamber. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Well, once this chills down, then I can demonstrate the heat transmission qualities of this little setup here. In case you're not familiar. There's our temperature in here. Alright, getting longer. And like I said, I'm not sure if the aqua tuner will block the vents or not. I think it, I think it doesn't. Seal this up now, too. Okay, so we can see like this window tile now is down to. I mean, it's getting colder. It's 19 degrees. The ones over here are 29. Now, when the doors close, now the window tile over here starts to chill down because it's passing temperature between these two sides, and that in turn will 
change the temperature of these temp shift plates. Um, and especially so when there's steam in there. And that's how that works. still have 41 cycles before this thing becomes active again, so this is essentially just going to sit there not doing much between now and then, but at least we got it done. Okay, um, we could start to figure out where we're going to put our monument. I think over here would be a good place. Um, let's see. Ah, we can already build the base. Awesome. Yeah, I think maybe we just build it right here. Alright, so let's... We need to delete some of these ladder sections. And we'll do it in bits so that I can get to them all. Get rid of that one. And then that one. <laughs> and then that one. And then that one. Okay. Monument base. So this is the one that takes a lot of steel and obsidian. Yeah, see this is why I think it's better to put to put the liquid vents on the bottom. Because these get blocked from pressure, um, but if you, if, but I think if it's, I think if there, it's partially covered by liquid, then I, I think it prevents it from overpressurizing. That's why. Uh oh, what's going on? Uh oh, what's happening? I think it might be too cold. Let's just change it to 10 degrees. I'm not sure what it is that's damaged. The pipe is damaged. Yeah, I'm, I think I may have been making it too cold. So let's make it 14. We'll make it 14 degrees. That way it'll never go below 20 degrees. Or zero degrees, I mean. Well, it probably will, but I, I, I don't think I left a large enough margin. And I, I might be able to repair that without opening this up. If I put a tile right there. Then I can take out this tile, and I might be able to reach a diagonal to repair it. Let's try it. Uh, well, the 
pipes up there. Uh, well, I can always open it up and go in there. Since there's no steam yet, I'll just go in and fix it. back up. No, it didn't. I lost my liquid. Well, it's still a vacuum. I just don't have a lot of liquid in there. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see here, uh, I am backed up on hydrogen, I need to start using some of this hydrogen. Or liquefying some of it, or storing more of it, I think I should just store more of it. going to keep storing as much hydrogen as I can because I'm going to want it later when it comes time to make liquid hydrogen for the rockets. It's tempting to it's tempting to build some hydrogen generators. But I think this is probably a smarter way to do it. here. Yeah, see, the hydrogen gets out and it damages all my stuff. over for a while. Okay, well I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, in the next one I will work on natural gas storage 
Uh, we'll continue. Ah, we can actually build the next part of our monument now. Which is... The midsection that takes ceramic, plastic, and steel. So we need 25, two and a half tons of ceramic, two and a half tons of plastic, which we have, and five tons more of steel, which we don't have. Okay, so we're gonna need lime. We might need to set up a poke farm for more lime. Plastic's not a problem. Ceramic, we should just queue up. Let's just make ceramic forever. We're gonna need a lot of ceramic for We're going to need a lot of ceramic for um, insulated pipes. For Again, for the rockets. Um, because ceramic is a really good insulator. And um, when we're moving... Oh, I don't want this guy to eat my ceramic. Will he eat ceramic? No, but he'll eat metal ore. So, yeah, we definitely don't want him down here. Um, when we're using liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, then we'll want, we'll want to use ceramic pipes for that stuff. Okay, so for five tons of steel, I'm going to need five tons of iron. Let's just do 99. 99 units. And we'll do 99 steel. Just keep cranking it out. No reason to stop anytime soon. And as long as these steam turbines don't get overloaded or overheated, then we'll be able to keep doing this non-stop. This part does concern me. It doesn't seem like it's preventing the steam engines from working, so as long as as long as that remains true, then I don't think it's gonna be a big issue. Oh, and how much glass do I need? I don't need any glass. Uh, but for the top of the monument, I'm gonna need glass. and a half tons. Alright, so we should start. Let's queue up some more glass, too. Let's see. Two and a half tons of glass is four. That's like a hundred. Yeah, I'll just do 99. Okay. So, this will keep the dupes busy for a while. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.